On a retired elementary school teacher continuing a mission she started in the classroom. As WPTV News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers reports, she has Holocaust survivors talk to kids about what they experienced. To give you a picture that what was the life of a 10 year old, because I was 10 year old during 1944, during the, the, worst, the worst part of the, the Holocaust. Holocaust survivors sharing their stories. Many Jews uh, have to change their names in order to be uh, to assimilate into society. Joanne Baseman, an elementary school teacher for 30 years, invited survivors into her classroom. Instead of having um, just paper and pencil, we brought people in. Making history in the textbooks come to life for her students. They sat, they talked, they explained what had happened to them, and the children had had um, questions. And then once COVID hit, we were able to have the survivor Zoom. The Alpert Jewish Family Service is honoring Joanne for introducing kids with the survivors. JFS provides services for Holocaust survivors. Our agency and our sister agency in, in Boca Raton, we work with about 900 survivors. And Claims Conference um, says there's about 70,000 living in the United States. I think um, for me as a Jewish woman, it's very important that we continue the story. I think that not only is it for the Jewish community, but it's for people of color. It's for all different kinds of people who don't have what they, they should have. And I think that we need to teach tolerance within our community. And if we start really young, then hopefully that's how our children grow up. Tanya Rogers, WPTV News Channel 5.